Here is an example how we analyze data with David. First of all, we open David in our web browser. Here is the address, and that's the main window of David. First, we have to get our data. Let's go to Excel and select our data. I select the whole cluster 15. Copy it in clipboard and then go back to David. In David, we go to Start Analysis tab. Under Start, start Analysis, we paste our data. Then we specify that it's already a Fimetrix ID, but actually we can select many different identifications, gene bank accession and others. But so far we leave it like this, a Fimetrix ID, and we specify that this data is our gene list. We click Submit List. What we did right now, we submitted our genes of interest, which David will analyze. But we should also specify our background against which this list of genes will be tested. Here is tab for background. If I click here, David already has predefined background for Affymetrix. We open this and in our case we use this background. Now everything set. We have our list and we set our background. Then we go to this area and what we are most interested in this gene functional classificational tool. I click this link. During this process David already analyzed all the data. Now it tests are there any overrepresented ontologies on our list of genes and it groups those genes according to its ontologies. Here we have stringency which we can set either medium or high and highest whatever we wish. Right now we have 44 clusters. 44 clusters it's quite a lot and rather difficult to understand. If I change stringency to highest and rerun, click this button rerun using these options, we will get less genes, less clusters, but more defined ontologies. So here we have 16 clusters. Among uh, how those clusters should be looked at. Here we have list of, list of genes in the first cluster. This is a Fimetrix ID and those are gene definitions. We have we see that there are lots of major histocompatibility complexes here and to find out what ontologies what ontology represent this set of genes. We click this red T letter. When we click here, David opens new window and here it lists ontologies most overrepresented by the genes. And we, we can see that those genes overrepresented in antigen processing ontology. So that's the first. We can also look downwards. It's those ontologies have less p-value, but it can give us more defined defined answer what those genes do. Here we can also see how many genes are representing given ontology. We can see that there are some ontologies also represented by those 15 genes. They are overlap, of course, but we can see that antigen processing, presentation, immunoglobulin and others ontologies, they end up actually to immune response represented by MHC and especially class 1. 
So that's how one can find out ontology for a given cluster. If we go for next cluster, it's a very big cluster, but actually one can see it's also antigens, interleukins and others. I bet it will be also related to immune response. That's the per the advantage of this cluster, it gives us clear immune response signaling. And indeed, we have for this cluster immunoglobulin-like, immunoglobulin domain, immunoglobulin subtype, defense response. So it's pretty much the same ontology, but represented by different genes. And that's significant, because this is highest stringency. We have major histocompatibility complex, represent specifically antigen presentation and processing. Here we have immunoglobulin domains and related things. Then we can go to group 3, clicking on this T. It will also show up, show us what ontologies represented by this particular cl cluster. We have some solute carrier family, lots of them. We have epithelial membrane protein, I believe it would be either transmembrane receptor or something like this. Yes, transmembrane, membrane and glycoproteins, but glycoproteins represented only by 28 genes. Those, the first ontologies, all 41 genes represent quite general ontology transmembrane. Another feature is related genes, RG. If I click here, it will show us the list of genes which may not inc be included in this class, but still significant. Here we, we can see 28 genes, but I believe it would be same same 28 genes as here. Yes, or 27, it doesn't matter. This one show us cluster, ontological cluster by itself. It takes a while for David to load it, because it's image generated by Java applet. But this is just general representation. Genes in this cluster and corresponding corresponding ontologies. That's probably a big cluster, that's why it takes so long. Here it is. Here we see clusters, intrinsic to membrane, integral to membrane and so forth. And here we can see gene names. And we can see that all those genes overrepresented among these ontologies. That's how one, sh well, one shall look at this. We can adjust stringency even higher, but that's most comprehensive and we will not deal more with it.